What's up, Sixers fans? Um, how do I start this? There is just so much slander going on right now in the Sixers community that I really just need to sit down and talk to you guys. Before doing so, like the video, subscribe to the channel, join the family, join the community, do all that. Let's just let's get into it. I need to have a heart to heart with you right now. Uh, after the deadline, I saw so much Daryl Morey slander on my timeline on Twitter that I just, I felt disgusted. I felt absolutely betrayed by the Sixers community because the thing with me is we are just going to act like that man didn't magically vanish Al Horford out of thin air and get Danny Green in return. First of all, second of all, we're going to act like he didn't trade Josh Richardson, a man who just simply did not fit in Philadelphia whatsoever for Seth Curry, the most perfect fit alongside Ben Simmons. Just act like those two things didn't happen this past offseason. But we're going to all freak out because Ben Simmons wasn't traded for James Harden. First of all, guys, I want to break the fact down to you that it wasn't the Sixers' fault that James Harden isn't in a Sixers jersey. It is for Tita. It is the owner of the Houston Rockets who simply, out of spite, decides to take a much, much, much worse trade from the Brooklyn Nets to not let Daryl Morey at all win. That is what it was. It wasn't the Sixers didn't offer enough. It wasn't that the Sixers said no at the last second because none of that was the case. The Sixers, if you look at it, offered so much of a better package to, uh, to Houston than Brooklyn ever did because Houston is now screwing themselves out of any chance of rebuilding on a, a good timeline because of the fact that out of spite, they decided not to trade James Harden to Daryl Morey. So enough with that, guys. Please, enough with that. Another thing is, we are going to act like Daryl Morey didn't just simply save the Sixers team. We are the number one seed in the Eastern Conference, guys. And that's because of Daryl Morey and the fact of Doc Rivers and the fact of Dan Burke and Sam Cassell and all of the personnel moves that we made. But we're going to sit here and slander Daryl Morey because he didn't trade Ben Simmons at the deadline. We didn't get this. We didn't get that. Guys, relax. Second of all, we're going to be pissed because we didn't sign LaMarcus Aldridge. We didn't do this. We didn't look at the Nets. Look at what they're doing. Bro, we're the number one team in the Eastern Conference. Am I 100% happy with how we were at the deadline? No. But you, my friend, watching this video, are not the GM or the president of basketball operations for the Philadelphia 76ers. Let that man do his job. Does Daryl Morey come into your office and tell you how to crunch numbers? No. Shut up. Let the man do his job. And enough with you thinking you know more about basketball than a guy who's getting paid millions of dollars to know about basketball. Because you don't. It's not even on the same wavelength. I don't know basketball anywhere near to the level of Daryl Morey. And I know basketball more than you. So put that in perspective for a second. I don't even know what number I'm on. So fourth of all, what I need to say to you is relax with the Ben Simmons slander. If you have any idea what is going on in that man's personal life right now, you should have some just sliv sliver of respect for humanity and just shut your damn mouth for a second. Let the man go through what is clearly a tough time right now and let him play basketball. We don't need Ben Simmons shooting three-pointers every single night. Right now is not the time to go out and develop your game. We are the number one seed in the Eastern Conference. We need to form this playoff team and get a good push. It's not time for Ben Simmons to go out and shoot the ball eight times from three. Look at him last night. He hit three elbow jumpers. Why can't we just be happy about that? Why can't we appreciate the game of Ben Simmons and what he brings to the floor every single night? And if he does more, be happy with it. Why? Why can't we be just accepting of a guy who is grinding? And you're gonna, I, I already know what your comment's gonna be. He, ben Simmons doesn't work hard. He's not grinding. He doesn't, he's not getting better at all. Any year, he's getting worse. Really? Because Ben Simmons is arguably the best defender in the NBA. He's arguably the best defensive guard slash forward since Kawhi Leonard when he won back to back defensive player of the years. Do you think that was Ben Simmons when he came into the league? It wasn't. Because his number one along with shooting. His number one criticism coming out of college was the fact that he never played defense at LSU. And now he is arguably the best defender in the entire league. If that's not improvement, I don't know what is. I get it. His points aren't as high. I get it. His assists have been stagnant. I get it. His rebounds have been stagnant. I get it. He turns the ball over. Bro, we are the number one team in the Eastern Conference, and the team runs through Ben Simmons and Joel Embiid. Clearly, the man is doing something right. He locks down the number one player on the other team every single night. 
every single night, whether it's a guard, whether it's a forward, it doesn't matter. That is unbelievable. And you are taking it for granted. And it is infuriating to me because I'm tired of it. I'm tired of thinking and watching and reading you guys think like you know everything about basketball when you catch one of every three games. I, I, I can't do it anymore. I can't do it anymore. I can't. I Let a guy go through a slump. Like, I, I don't understand it. I remember two years ago, you guys were crying about how we should trade Joel Embiid. How did that turn out for you guys? Yeah, I didn't think so. The guy is basically the MVP of the season this year. The dude's averaging 29 and a half points a game. Where'd all that hate go? Philadelphia Sixers fans, you need to relax. Philly fans in general, you just have to relax. Let the team go through its ups and downs. We're not going to go 82-0. and We're not going to go 72-0 and or whatever the game count is this year. And then roll through the playoffs 16 straight games. It doesn't work like that. It doesn't work like that. There is adversity that teams have to fight through. There are injuries that teams have to fight through. And Ben Simmons has been a catalyst of just consistency. And I get it. You're going to be like, his points aren't consistent. He had this before the All-Star break and after. The guy is defensively the best player in the league. And he brings that every single night. And the fact that you're going to go out and say Daryl Morey is the worst. Oh, oh my God, he's just this and that. He doesn't understand talent. He has no idea what's going on in Sixers basketball. It's like he has never watched the game. Bro, we traded Al Horford, Al Horford for Danny Green, Al Horford, who was the worst Philadelphia 76er fit in NBA history. Let the guy just have a year, man. He thinks this team's good enough to play. I believe in him. I believe in Daryl Morey. He has turned the Rockets in one of the most winningest teams in the last seven years. Let the guy do his job. And you go back to your little marketing job and your nine to five suit and tie and you focus on that and let Daryl Morey focus on what he's doing. I mean, it's unbelievable. The only thing I, I haven't seen on my timeline is Tobias Harris slander. And thank God for that, because the moment I see anything bad about Tobias Harris, I will snap because that man is the definition of consistency. Sixers fans, deep down, we all need to relax. We all need to let guys go through their slumps. We need to let them come back up. We need to let this team fight through bad losses, through good wins. Every time the Sixers have a bad game, we can't just go crazy and say, trade everybody. And once everybody, and once the Sixers have a good win, we can't say, oh, don't touch the roster, everyone. Woohoo, Sixers champions. Bro, it's a long season. These guys are grueling. Their bodies are sore as shit, probably. Let them do what they do best. They are professionals. Sixers fans. I love you, but let's be better. Peace out.